Hey everybody, this is Rodney with Gear Core EDC, and uh, I ended up using denim blue red dye, non-synthetic, so it doesn't take as well and it shows up on the white versus making it full blue. I thought about doing black and I decided to keep a little bit of the transition, and I think it came out pretty well. You have to let me know your comments in the feedback. Um, but yeah, that's... Uh, that's what we have here. Now, we have a couple things to do. I want to put the assembly together for you. We have the, the cutout section. We know that, that the, uh, the liner with the cutout goes against that side. And we have the pivot that goes through that. Well, I dropped it. Slide that through there. Get that lined up. Take a barren that I've pre-lubed. You can see it's plenty wet and got plenty of oil on it. Okay, and then you take the blade. Slide it over. And that bearing's also been lubed. And then take the other liner. Slide it over. Then take that liner and put the pivot through, pivot screw. All the hardware on this is T8. So only one wrench needed. Now I've still got this pretty loose for a reason because we still have to install this backspacer. Now this backspacer has a through pin that goes through this hole right here and that locks it in place so we'll take that and put it there make sure it's locked into the little cutout and slide that one there oop excuse me I got it in the wrong one I had it reversed excuse me I didn't have it in the wrong one, I had it in backwards. Okay, so now we take the barrel screw, which is this one, and slide through the back side, get it all lined up to where it's through the, the fitting, and take the long screw. Well, I take that back. The short screw. The two long screws are for the clip. And again, you take the T8. Cinch that down. Somewhat loose. And now cinch this up to where it's snug but not tight. And now you take your pivot screws, or your... Uh, clip screws and get those started. We'll go ahead and torque these down to tightness, to desired tightness. And the good thing about TH, you can get them pretty tight and the hardware that comes on two suns is pretty resilient. You ain't got to worry about the head stripping out on you. I did not apply Loctite to anything. Um, on some I do, on some I don't. Alright, now sort of feel for flush fit, make sure everything's nice and uniform and tighten this back screw. Double check the other side. Now, because this is the Baron style knife on the pivot, we can. I'm doing this from behind the camera, guys, so please bear with me. 
trying to see everything and get it lined up. I'm about blind as a bat anyway. I have glasses. You can get that pretty tight and it still functions very well because it's on bearings. And there we go. I like it. I think it come out really nice. Dagger style blade with a secondary grind. You can see there at the tip. A fall edge on this side. Very sharp on this side. Nice jimping on the liner area there to release. I might have it a little tight. We'll back off that just a little bit. This might be one that you get the pivot set with Loctite. So you can get that drop shut action. No blade play. Drop shut. Centering is right down the hatch. Perfect. And the color is done. I left the uh, the back spacer was already black. So I didn't do anything to it. The only thing I put in the tank and the pot on the stove was the scales. But that's what we got. Denim blue. And you can still see the hints of the white coming out. But I like it. Now, the one thing this did do, uh, you could really see the layers of the white and this blue is so so close to black, I guess. You can't see the individual breakup of the lines. But I actually might take this and put some uh, abrasive disc to it to maybe bring that white back out to give that some contrast. But that's something for later. But yeah, that's it. Um, hope you like it. I do. I think I'm going to leave it. I did one a while back that I, an orange one that I writ dyed black or denim blue on it, and it did not come out. It stayed looking orange. So I think I'm going to buy some graphite synthetic and make it a graphite gray black. Um, but I think I'm going to end up keeping this one. So I hope y'all have a blessed day. Please like, subscribe, comment. I like hearing from you. Like comments. I try to reply to them the best I can depending on my work schedule and if I get it sometimes I get comments sometimes I don't it's sort of weird YouTube's sort of funny um, please check your notifications because I've heard other people um, their notifications are getting turned off I'm not sure what's going on there um, but yeah thank you so much for watching please be safe and God bless the world this is Rodney with GearCore EDC until tomorrow's today's carry, y'all have a great evening.